so yeah this is uh this is the video about the old kuma my old kuma yeah i'm starting it up right now just to show you the little kings and weight stuff this machine has but it's a very good machine still i love these old kumas as you can see i have a little different uh, control the new mine is a little bit older but um i have a lot of these switches i love them <laughs> very very high quality uh yeah so um as i told you uh this will run full rapid uh this one will run full rapid unless you have single bug on uh I don't know if yours is that case. Uh, I got a newer one. This is uh, 7,000. This will, uh, you can control the rabbit and uh, feed rate without single bug on if you are in test mode. In production, it will run full rabbits. So, but uh, this is not a problem at all. Uh, the, the old LC30 I got down here. Uh, it's the same as the LB15. We'll run full rabbits outside of a single buck, but I'm I got used to it very fast, so now it's not even it's not something I think about any anymore. So yeah, I'm I'm in here today. Gonna see if I can get this machined finished today. I'm here with my son. These need to be going into the uh, DMG after. You can see it's a mess. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm trying to clean this place up. Uh, yeah, let me uh, get some stock in this chuck, and I'll show you something. Show you uh, how it's ran. All right, so uh, this is, should be the view that you should. Uh, see uh, when you boot it up you can uh, switch down to see the program and the uh, and the coordinates on this page down mdi f1 if you you already know that uh, you can't start it unless you have put in a g97 s503 yeah, and then switch to manual, and then you can start it. But uh, the edit, you can see the list programs. I only have a few. There's not much room on the control, and you know how to select the programs. A. This is an IGF program. So these are not very well written and easy to read, but uh, the thing is when you need to restart a program inside a program, uh, even further down, you need to uh, use the restart button. Uh, it's a little bit tricky and finicky when you're first starting to use the control, but uh, uh, yeah, you can't just go down to a line and start it. Not on this one, at least. Uh, you can on the newer one. Uh, I haven't figured out how to do it anyway. So, but uh, you just go to the line you want to start at. I want to start at uh, two n o two o o, etc. Always turn feet down and single block on. And if you if you start here, it will automatically take the previous RAN tool. So you need to to take it away. Oh, this is the blocks I'm using. Yeah, and the capture holders for ID. And then you need to do uh, F8, F2, and press N O two O O input. It will automatically go to this line and then try press restart. Up. 
Yeah, it's not easy. You see? I have no idea what it's doing right now. <laughs> In O two O, this is just when an IGF uh, program is made. N O one O O will be the start of the first operation. N O two O O will be the start of the second operation. Restart. As you can see, it will. This is why you always have this down and this up because then we, it won't uh, grab it. Yeah, so you'll need to learn how to restart and stop the IGF. Let me just make a simple program. F1 to A to make a program. This will not be the same in yours. These are some presets you can set up. Outside length, 50 millimeters, I say. Inside length, I have no idea. I will always say no. Outside diameter, 50, just. And then P set shift and P set shift. I always just write the, the same as the, the, the length. I don't know what it is. It's something with the stock and simulation and it has nothing to do with the programming. So. This is just so you can, this I won't touch at all. You can see I have some, some op operations. You see my zero origin is out here now. So, delete. I'm just gonna delete all. And make a symbol. OD, turning, F3. One for operation one or process one for rough one for outside diameter. Uh, this is one for rough outside. This can be different than yours. Uh, tool one, tool angle, tool ca camber, I think 80 because I'm using a CNMG. Five degree, or at least I think it's three. Tool length, 50-50. This is your tool change position. Just 500, 500 millimeters. Just so it will move all the way away. Cutting, cutting a surface finish and feed rate. Oh. Depth of cut. This is radial. This is the actual depth of cut. Counterclockwise or clockwise and cooling on. Yeah, we move on. This is the stock to leave in X and C. So now you need to uh, write out your contour. We'll just see. This is the starting point from where your rough material is. You can see the dot is out here. So I'll just put it one millimeter away from everything. You need to start your contour now. We'll start with the contour inside. I always have a different uh, operation for, for, yeah, what is it, planing? Uh, what is it? I can't remember the name. <laughs> uh, so I'll do a lungs. This is Danish, so this is turning this way. We'll start at uh, 25, zero, because we and then uh, we'll end at uh, 15 millimeters. So you see, boop. We want a radius inside this. So we'll take this radius five and say we'll go to 45 millimeters. And then we want a little chamfer here. 05 and then we want to go to minus 40 Oops. and I always go out to the stock 
just because I know where the tool will be going. If you don't do that, the uh, nose radius on the tool will go beyond this line uh, on the last finish roughing pass here. So it will take a, a eight tenth of a millimeter into the stock here. So I just want to avoid that. So now we have the contour. If we want a chamfer uh, at the start, we can always go back here to the beginning and say chamfer. This is the point, yes, we started. And we want a 05. Oop. And it should be there. Don't mind the weird, uh, this will be fine. And go to the end now and press control end. Now we have the control for roughing. Uh, if we want to uh, insert a facing operation, insert one, and this will move this down. And uh, a three, one, rough. Uh, ud plane is outside plane face whatever uh, roughing face two and same tool same settings this is only for simulation purpose it will use this to calculate the clearance if you are doing some uh, some uh, roughing in a in a, a reliefing uh, we don't touch this. We'll say this is the facing. We'll start at 52, and we have we have two millimeter raw stock, and we'll define plane with the arrow down, face whatever. <laughs> this is 51, and C zero because that's the surface we want to end at, and X zero, yes. So now we have these two. I want to drill a hole. Six for boring, this is drilling. One for a hole that will not go through. Uh, drill, carbide drill, HSS drill, center drill. This is all preset by myself to make it make fast programs we'll make a hard carbide we'll just put it there we'll say uh, 10 millimeter drill this is the surface finish the surface <laughs> surface speed 100 and feed rate this is the step if we want to pack drill, 5 millimeters, we write 5.5. Five. This is just some pre-drilling. I'll always say zero in this. New reference point, that's where it will be going from. To feed uh, Revit. This is where we'll be starting to drill. This is the end. 25. This is, uh, I have no idea. So this is... Uh, and let's do a fine cut uh, outside. Press four, three, that's fine. Cut out outside. Slit, it is in Danish. Three. I got my uh, w, uh, VNMG, yeah, in 35 degrees, 5 degrees, clearance, 50, 500, 500, yeah, 250, yep. This is just so you can offset it. This is the same stock to leave. Uh, F5 for copying the rough and two yep Boop. now we have a finish pass <laughs> that was the name of it <laughs> 
So now we say press F2, say process test, F8, start F1. And you have estimated time. Yeah. That's it. We can end this. Press forward. F2. It's asking me to put in a name. AAA. And then you're outside here. You can still go in and edit it. AAA. Oh, sorry. A. You still have the program here. Uh, and now you can go to auto, press A, A, A. And now you have the program here in ISO format. So it's very good, very powerful to make fast programs in. So.